Hey guys, welcome. This is a general reading for the collective of Gemini, Libra, Aquarius for Mercury Retrograde. Yes, I am doing an elemental reading for Mercury, which stationed retrograde on the 23rd in the sign of Virgo. So his path is from eight degrees of Virgo to 21 degrees, which is where he is now. And he turned around and stationed retrograde. He will move back to eight degrees of Virgo, turn around again, station direct, and close out his three-act play, okay? So I think he stations direct. I wanna say it's September 15th, could be the 14th or the 16th, um, somewhere in there. Uh, I meant to look it up and I forgot, but right there in the middle of September is when he stations direct. So this, um, this retrograde could be a little bumpier because he's in the sign of Virgo, which is one of the two signs that he rules. The other sign is Gemini. So sometimes when a planet retrogrades in one of its signs, um, it packs a little bit more of a punch. So what you want to do is find the house or houses, because I have Virgo split between two houses. So you're looking on the outside circle of your natal chart, and what you're looking for is the glyph for Virgo, and then you wanna see what houses. It doesn't matter if there are planets or points or your rising or your midheaven, none of that matters. What I want you to do is be to be able to see what area of life will be most impacted when it comes to thoughts, perceptions, communication. Okay, so if you know the house or houses, because it could be split between two, where eight degrees to 21 degrees falls, and again, it can happen in more than one house, um, that little span of degrees, that will give you a much better idea of where to focus some of your attention, where to be a little bit more um, on top of things. Virgo is all about daily tasks, routines, you know, linear thinking, um, the to-do list kind of energy. So it, it's a little more structured, which is good. Uh, so if you're at all confused as to how it might impact you, just tell me what house or houses, eight degrees all the way through 21 degrees of Virgo Falls, and I'll hook you up. Okay, now I did the earth signs yesterday, and I forgot to mention um, that, that you can just, just tell me the houses and... I'll be happy to um, let you know what I think. Also, it's still a general reading, so it may not resonate for everyone. I'm still doing a relationship love tarot spread. And um, also in the extended, I will separate it out for Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So I'll do a little bit more deeper dive individually for each sign in the extended. And the link to that is in the first sentence below. So please know we are also now in what we call the annual retrograde parade. So Mercury just stationed retrograde. We have Venus. I'm looking at my list. That's how long it is. Saturn, Neptune, Pluto, Chiron and the planet Uranus will turn around in two days on the 29th and then the next day we have the blue moon full moon in Pisces second full moon of the calendar month is also referred to as a blue moon so lots of stuff happening um, all right so that's your information on mercury retrograde for now let's go ahead I'm pulling from super attractor to grab some oracle cards for you Gemini Libra Aquarius this can also be good for your divine counterpart if they have um, planets and points, meaning sun, moon, rising, Venus, in um, any of the air signs. So let's go ahead and see the message. Oh, I love that. Okay, so you've got some interesting messages here, air signs. I heal the habit of fear. And I embrace the habit of love. I heal the habit of fear. And I love how these two are looking very twinsies. That's got a Gemini feel to me. Um, to begin the practice of allowing, I must get out of the way and let spirit give me direction. I love that one too. 
So I'm going to read them again. The universe is always conspiring to support me, guide me, and lead me compassionately toward the highest good. So this feels a little bit more Libran, this feels a little more Aquarian, and this feels a little more Gemini. So y'all got caught in here. So I heal the habit of fear and I embrace the habit of love. I love, I'm, I see angel wings there. Um, to begin the practice of allowing, right? I must get out of the way and let spirit give me direction. So allow spirit to drop in and point the way. The universe is always conspiring to support me, guide me, and lead me compassionately toward the highest good. Love it. So really beautiful messages for my air signs. Yes. So what I'm going to do, as I always do, is I'm just going to pull the spread. Um, it's a, just a modified Celtic cross, not doing the whole shebang. I'll give you my general impressions, and then we will get some details with the clarifiers. And as I said, we'll jump to the extended to get the rest of the story, where we're going to be looking for Mercury retrograde things. What might you need to reevaluate in your connection? What might you need to recommit to? And where might this lead? Where might things be headed so that's what we're looking for in the extended and as i said i'll repeat i'm doing that individually for gemini libra and aquarius this is a little bit more collective air energy can't make it up guys so i'm gonna say to you what i said to the earth signs very common in retrogrades, especially Mercury and Venus, which are both retrograde right now, for reunions, reconciliations, people coming back from the past. So we're kicking off the reading with judgment, which is all about second chances, reunions, redemption, forgiveness, reconciliation, really beautiful energy here for you what's crossing that is the five of pentacles so there may be separation at this time for some of you or at the very least um sort of feeling a sense of um um being discarded or devalued on some level there could be some ghosting for example involved for some of you wow yes lovers in the um, below here, which is unconscious awareness in the past, the chariot in conscious awareness, the hermit, and in the near future, I love it, the two of wands. So that's talking about the path forward, which I love. We have one, two, three, four major arcana out of six cards. This is kind of a life-changing retrograde cycle for you, earth signs. As I already said, we're looking for some kind of reconciliation after a period of some some form of um, instability in the connection, rejection, abandonment uh, could even be a thing. Uh, we have the lovers here in your unconscious awareness. That's a card of choice that you have to choose the reunion. You have to choose the union of your souls in the past, the chariot. This is about progress and action the chariot is moving toward or away from something but always to serve the highest good so we'll let the clarifiers point the way to that in conscious awareness the hermit it's all an inside job guys it's about knowing yourself so the hermit does talk about a solitary journey but the focus here is on personal growth self-awareness introspection right? Looking under the hood of the car of your own life and trying to understand yourself better so that you can emerge as the guide. That's what the hermit does, lights the path for others. Once the self is understood, it's like, let me show you the way. Sort of like that Aquarian card of, uh, to begin the practice of allowing, I must get out of the way and let spirit give me direction. We get there through the energy of the hermit. Um, and going forward is the two of wands. And to me, the two of wands is always that moment where you have a whole range of options, right? The world in the palm of your hands, the horizon spread out before you. What do I want? And what path is most likely to get me there? And then what do I need to set in motion to draw that to me? Wands, action. So let's jump in with some clarifiers here for Judgment and the Five of Pentacles. 
king of wands five of cups the sun Ooh, some strong leo energy showing up um this sort of leads me to believe that whoever this is about um whoever it is you're here watching about uh, they did not take action king of wands in reverse unavailable lover um didn't claim the love didn't claim the connection and there may be some sense of loss and grief and sadness about that it impacted your happiness for sure we're also looking at a potential for forgiveness of someone who expresses some measure of regret around that remember mercury is about communication so there could be some communication that comes in and you have to determine if you're open to the forgiveness. And maybe some of you don't want a second chance. Maybe some of you are going to choose a different path forward, but the different path forward is only gonna bring you the same kind of animal, okay, that you're cutting loose unless or until you can forgive that. So remember, forgiveness is really important. We have the full moon coming up on August 30th and the full moon is about release, but it begins with one gratitude to forgiveness and then you let all that go and then you rise up so really beautiful message for you coming in here air signs let's see the lovers in your unconscious awareness three of pentacles the devil yeah i feel almost like there's some built-in fear and that was what your message was i heal the habit of fear and i embrace the habit of love and i recall saying this feels very gemini to me and the lover's card is gemini so and i'm even wanting to show you the visual i'm a very visual person here look at unfocus your eyes for a minute and it almost looks very similar angel wings the two figures just really powerful um message there for you i'm gonna, i mean what it's just so perfect so i feel like there's some residual fear that you need to work through or you are processing at this moment things being out of sorts out of balance not harmonious not fearful that you won't get the cooperation that you'll choose the connection and the person won't choose you back yeah it's a risk it's a risk because we all have free will. So I, while I understand the fear, you've got your marching orders here of how to navigate that. Um, let's see what happened in the past here with the chariot. Knight of Pentacles, Judgment, Ten of Cups. Yeah, I feel like you were on the way. Um, ready for an offer of forgiveness ready for, you know things moving slowly chariot wants to move fast very fast moving energy but it's clarified by the knight of pentacles so there's more intention more thought more deliberation the P knight of pentacles moves slower but if you wanted this happiness right if you want the happily ever after and the emotional bliss in the sense of we did it we made it and you want the forgiveness reconciliation and a second chance you have to kind of be real deliberate about that so i do feel there was something here where progress was slow um right chariot makes progress but the knight of pentacles slowed it down progress has been slow so let's see the hermit in your conscious awareness wow so powerful oh my gosh yes there's an inner wisdom you have going for you here my beloveds um the motivation to overcome obstacles is present but there's wisdom to know that it it requires um finessing okay temperance is sort of self-control and restraint despite that ace of wands like just lighting up your visual field and you're like i'm ready for this i'm open for this i believe we can overcome things there's an inner wisdom and a sense of timing with temperance it's about patience it's one foot on the ground one foot in your feelings uh, keeping the energy moving because in time it will all come in flow into flow and balance balance and harmony is what you're after 
throw some fairness in the mix. Wouldn't that be nice? But I do feel like you're ready for this. You're just respecting um, your own process and the timing. You may also be uh, respecting the process of the other person should they be the one that moves slower than you. I am talking to air signs, so that's a possibility. Let's look at the two of wands going forward. Oof. Yeah, you definitely are going to want to give some thought and take some time to look at the situation from all perspectives before you choose that path. And here's why. We have the, the hanged man, the eight of cups, and the tower underneath. So for me, the tower in unconscious awareness is kind of coming through as probably from the past because we have the five of cups and the five of pentacles so this is reminiscent of what fell apart what didn't work what was unsustainable and you may be in consideration of a path that takes you in another direction keeps you moving forward on your own journey um meaning not in the connection but the hanged man is telling you to take stock to examine the situation from the 30,000 foot view, to not live in the fear of the tower because it, you're not going that way again. You're moving forward, but can you move forward in this connection? Is that the right choice or is it time for you to continue moving forward on your own path? So I'm seeing this as a continuation potentially of the hermit's journey but the hanged man is waiting for enlightenment. So it's like you're going to be in consideration of the path forward, but you're going to press pause and not make any impulsive decisions, which is also holds true for temperance. So I like the fact that there's some powerful major arcana that are spelling out, um, take your time on this, right? Give it some real thought, have lots of patience, come from your higher self. Very interesting reading, guys. I'm going to give you the astrology in a second, but a reminder that in the very first sentence, there's a link to the description in the description box to the extended where I will break it down for you, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. As I said, we're looking at Mercury retrograde themes. So that's available for you. Judgment um, is here that it is out twice. That's Pluto, Lord of the Underworld. <laughs> Okay, um, rules the sign of Scorpio. King of Wands and the Sun are both Leo energy. Lovers, as I said, is Gemini. The Devil is Capricorn. Um, Justice is Libra. We have the Chariot is Cancerian energy. Knight of Pentacles is Virgo. Then we have more Virgo with the Hermit. Temperance is Sagittarian energy. More Leo here with the Strength card. And I only give you this as extra added confirmation. If it doesn't align with your, you know, your planets and placements or theirs, not a problem. Doesn't invalidate the reading. It's just like a little extra something something. We have the Hanged Man is Neptune, which rules Pisces, and the Tower is Mars. Mars is now moving into Libra, by the way, so and he's not all that happy there, so keep that in mind. Um, but uh, Mars does rule Aries. So that's what I have for you. Whew. I'm wishing you an easy retrograde parade, and I'll see you in the extended in a second. Bye for now.